Hello everyone. Welcome to Wonder Slate. Topic for today's quiz is General Science, Elements and Metals. Question number 1. Actinides are the elements with atomic numbers from Option A. 97 to 104. Option B. 101 to 115. Option C. 89 to 103. Option D. 36 from 43. The correct answer is Option C. 89 to 103. Actinoid element, also called actinide element, any of a series of 15 consecutive chemical elements in the periodic table from actinium to lawrencium, atomic numbers 89 to 103. As a group, they are significant largely because of their radioactivity. Question number 2. The two elements that are frequently used for making transistors are Option A. Boron and Aluminium Option B. Silicon and Germanium Option C. Iridium and Tungsten Option D. Niobium and Columbium The correct answer is Option B. Silicon and germanium. Most transistors are made from very pure silicon or germanium, but certain other semiconductor materials can also be used. Question number 3. The filament of an electric bulb is made of Option A. Tungsten. Option B. Nichrome. Option C. Graphite. Option D. Iron. The correct answer is Option A. Tungsten. This wire is called a filament. The filament is the part of the light bulb that produces light. Filaments in incandescent light bulbs are made of tungsten. When electric current goes through the filament, the filament glows. Question number 4. Diamond is an allotropic form of Option A. Germanium. Option B. Carbon. Option C. Silicon. Option D. Sulfur. The correct answer is Option B. Carbon, diamond and graphite are two allotropes of carbon, pure forms of the same element that differ in structure. Question number 5. Air is A slash N. Option A. Compound. Option B. Element. Option C. Electrolyte. Option D. Mixture. The correct answer is. Option D. Mixture. Air around us is a mixture of many gases and dust particles. It is the clear gas in which living things live and breathe. It has an indefinite shape and volume. Question number 6. Bell metal is an alloy of. Option A. Nickel and copper. Option B. Zinc and copper. Option C. Brass and nickel. Option D. Tin and copper. The correct answer is. Option D. Tin and copper. Bell metal is a hard alloy used for making bells and related instruments, such as cymbals. It is a form of bronze with a higher tin content. Usually in approximately a 4 to 1 ratio of copper to tin, typically, 78% copper, 22% tin by mass. Question number 7. Which metal pollute the air of a big city? Option A. Copper. Option B. Chromium. Option C. Lead. Option D. Cadmium. The correct answer is. Option C. Lead. Lead is very toxic and produces poisonous gas on burning in present of oxygen which is harmful for our health and polluted our big cities. Question number 8. Which of the following does not contain a coinage metal? Option A. Silver and gold. Option B. Zinc and gold. Option C. Copper and silver. Option D. Copper and gold. The correct answer is Option B. 
zinc and gold, coinage metal, a group 11 element is one in the series of elements in group 11, epac style, in the periodic table, consisting of transition metals which are the traditional coinage metals of copper, ku, silver, ag, and gold, o, oh, question number 9, balloons are filled with, option a, nitrogen, option b, helium, option c, oxygen, option d, argon the correct answer is option b helium a gas balloon is a balloon that flies in the air because it is filled with a gas less dense than air or lighter than air such as helium or hydrogen question number 10 production of chlorofluorocarbons cfc gas which is proposed to be banned in india is used in which of the following domestic products option a television option b refrigerator option c tube light option d cooking gas the correct answer is option b refrigerator chlorofluorocarbons cfc's are fully halogenated paraffin hydrocarbons that contain only carbon, chlorine, Cl, and fluorine, F, produced as volatile derivative of methane, ethane, and propane. CFCs have been widely used as refrigerants, propellants, in aerosol applications, and solvents. Question number 11. Water is a good solvent of ionic salts because, option A, it has a high specific heat. Option B. It has no color. Option C. It has a high dipole moment. Option D. It has a high boiling point. The correct answer is. Option C. It has a high dipole moment. Water, because of its shape and the nature of its constituent atoms, size, electronegativity, Bonding is an extremely strong polar solvent because the molecule is highly and permanently polarized. It has a very high dipole moment compared to many other polar solvents for example acetone and ethanol. Question number 12. Which of the following is not an isotope of hydrogen? Option A. Tritium. Option B. Deuterium. Option C. Proteum. Option D. Yttrium. The correct answer is option D. Yttrium. Yttrium has 25 isotopes whose half lives are known, with mass number 79 to 103. Naturally occurring yttrium consists of its one stable isotope, 89Y. Question number 13. The main constituents of pearls are option A. Calcium oxide and ammonium chloride. Option B. Calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate. Option C. Aragonite and conchiolin. Option D. Ammonium sulfate and sodium carbonate. The correct answer is. Option B. Calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate. The chief component of the nacre that constitutes the pearl is aragonite. Carco 3. Nacra also contains a small amount of conchiolin, a horn-like organic substance, albuminoid, that is the main constituent of the mollusk's outer shell. Question number 14. Amalgams are, option A, highly colored alloys, option B, alloys which contain mercury as one of the contents, option C, alloys which have great resistance to abrasion, option D, alloys which contain carbon. The correct answer is option B. Alloys which contain mercury as one of the contents. An amalgam is an alloy of mercury with another metal. Almost all metals can form amalgams with mercury, the notable exceptions being iron, platinum, tungsten, and tantalum. Silver mercury amalgams are important in dentistry, and gold mercury amalgam is used in the extraction of gold from ore. Question number 15. 
Which of the following is the lightest metal? Option A. Mercury. Option B. Lithium. Option C. Lead. Option D. Silver. The correct answer is Option B. Lithium. Lightest elemental metal. The lightest or least dense metal that is a pure element is lithium, which has a density of 0.534 grams slash cm3. This makes lithium nearly half as dense as water, so if lithium was not so reactive, a chunk of the metal would float on water. Two other metallic elements are less dense than water. Question number 16. Which of the following is an element? Option A. Ruby. Option B. Sapphire. Option C. Emerald. Option D. Diamond. The correct answer is Option D. Diamond. Diamond is a pure element. Carbon. Gold is a pure element. Gold. And rust is a compound. Iron oxide. Of iron and oxygen. Diamond is pure elemental carbon. Compressed to its crystal form, under extreme heat and pressure deep within the earth. The symbol for carbon is C. Question number 17. Potassium permanganate is used for purifying drinking water, because. Option A. It is a sterilizing agent. Option B. It dissolves the impurities of water. Option C. It is a reducing agent. Option D. It is an oxidizing agent. The correct answer is Option D. It is an oxidizing agent. Potassium permanganate oxidizes iron, manganese, and hydrogen sulfide into particles. The potassium permanganate is used for purifying drinking water. Question number 18. Which of the following metals remain in liquid for under normal conditions? Option A. Radium. Option B. Zinc. Option C. Uranium. Option D. Mercury. The correct answer is. Option D. Mercury. Mercury remains in liquid form under normal conditions. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.